Well, here we are, the Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Too many Mandalorians were scattered after the war, without purpose and without direction. Most became little more than raiders. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shadda at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Well, not everyone who came to Nar Shadda were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians. And the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. Shouldn't be too hard. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda, finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's hard. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's going to find us here. to Nar Shadda. While she walks upon the smuggler's moon, she is not to be harmed. Observe her, track her, but do not eclipse her movements, or I shall eclipse yours. <coughs> you must, because one Jedi attracts others. It is the way of things. <laughs> Request, if Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Bokichu no Kada Mirenito. The Hupopotenyo Gojucho Picho. Observation. Jedi follow the self destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. Doverinincha, Yonon, Doverinincha, Yononashit, Goli Rosodish. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. 
All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Whatever we do, I say we get the Hawk's ID signature changed while we're here. Might keep us from being a target when we enter a new system. It is not your choice, Atten. It is hers. What is it you wish to do? Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here, will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! No, really? Thanks for the insight. And here I was, thinking you were a smart human. I got another ship coming in, and unless you want that piece of junk's hull crushed flat, you better move it. Got it? That's none of your business. All you need to know is that they're gonna be firing up their quad lasers if they find your ship squatting there when they arrive. Yeah? Right now, all I'm hearing is talk. How much you offering? Done! Pleasure doing business with you. I got some visitors booked for your space, but I'm sure the two of you can work it out when they arrive.
No. Look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Well, they work for the Exchange, for a Quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the Exchange. The only language the Exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shadda as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. The Exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Spare a few credits, friend. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. This sector's filled with refugees from the Jedi Civil War, and even as far back as the Mandalorian Wars. Refugees and war veterans both, and anyone else who was rendered homeless by the war. The Jedi destroyed planets across the galaxy, and here's where the wreckage ended up. A lot of space lanes cross at Nar Shadda, and once here, it's hard to move on. Even fighter pilots from the war can't get work at the docks. The freighter crews are full up. There's no work here, and no way out. Unless you want to become a hired muscle for the exchange, or work in a hut slave camp. No, should I? He doesn't sound like a hut. What, is he a bounty hunter or an exchange boss? Friend, you did promise... Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place, and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. Haven't heard anything more yet. Uh, all right. This ref. A lot of this. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits? Maybe help another refugee in need. Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day, he brings a greater darkness upon another? The Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target.
seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Very well, but mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Gerrektada ce mențe bine arăru cu totul unde ciuci am atas o Terewana jun conata de la gu Charanana gundoso remine To sunt orientări Gerrektada sunt o genig rexi Big ears here might know someone who can change the Ebon Hawks ID signature could be useful for avoiding notice Gerrektada sunt o genig rexi 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 Charanana gundoso remine Gerrektada sunt o genig rexi Gerrektada sunt o genig rexi Tere wana jun konata de la Raguno Antuna. Tere wana jun konata de la Raguno Antuna. Wana jun seni sen sen drau. Ah, beso trena. Manama treto sobre barakto drun.
And what did she want? Not much. Just answers to some questions. Really? Interesting. Something up. All right. I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Your ship? I'd lay off the spice if I were you. That's our ship, not yours. Was I talking to you? I tell you, that ship's mine. It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid-Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. The registry's 34P7JK. It's got a temperamental hyperdrive, and the turrets can be sluggish and unresponsive against fast-moving fighters. She's also got two secret compartments, one in the cargo hold, right near the plasteel cylinders in the back, and the second beneath the bunks in the starboard cabin. Whoa, he could have gotten that information some other way than owning the ship. Come on, he's skifting us. So, you're gonna hand it over now, or are you going to be difficult? What? It's our ship. I mean, your ship. That I fly. Good to hear you aren't going to challenge it. That makes things a lot easier. That ship's had some proud owners. You're disgracing it by giving it away like a Durasteel chip. What are you doing? That's gonna trap us here.
I'll be going now. Get used to the solid ground beneath you. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back. No one has to know. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machine stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. One might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass, and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Healing is manipulation, and if you do not realize it yet, then you will discover that an act of healing depends largely on your perspective. Manipulation is done through propelling events, or selected ones, into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. Let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Doveri Nincha, Yonona Shitasa Chuch, Wanatu Mobayes. Tono <laughs> tocha. Sarda chornilo tabed, daga prota gocha, jarkomat. 
Kremso Anatis Chi Norta Hirem. Machi tu pacha machalo aba. Donas. Nishasa Ochutu Gonku Naka Prota Gocha Jarkumati Sochpa Norcha Uba Volpa Holosh Kremso Anati Uba Volpa Holosha Jabalakish Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. Uh, but I, uh... Oh, look! Here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. Hey, thanks. I appreciate you helping me out of that tough spot there. I, uh, can't really pay you the money or else I would have given it to those thugs. Uh, all right. What'd you want to know? Jedi Master? Are you crazy? There aren't any more Jedi running around, let alone Masters. But you're serious, aren't you? All right, well, look. If I were a Jedi, I'd be where I could help people. As for where that happens on Nar Shadda, I have no idea. The bounty hunters don't have any one place where they stick around. Best thing I can tell you is if you want to find one, get a bounty on your head and then wait. Are you serious? All right. I must be doing something right for you to come along and bail me out like you did. Jedi code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. Grati ubachi kumpa duana muska. Kavadumpa muns. Don't run the manaka. 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 Don't run the manaka.